In this video I want to show you how to put your on-demand deliveries onto autopilot. Uh, we're going to do that by using a spatula's autonomous dispatch features and I'm going to show you how to set that up right now. So we come up here under the drop down menu and click dispatches. So a dispatcher is going to be made up of some dispatch policies. So when you are setting up say a restaurant we're going to allow you to pick a dispatcher so that uh, we will then use this set of policies in order to um, work out who's going to be offered which jobs, which drivers are going to be offered which deliveries to do. hope that makes sense as we go. So I'm going to click the new dispatch button, new dispatcher button and create a demo dispatcher. And what we're going to do is set the parameters here for a particular policy. So um, let's just do that first. So say anyone within say two kilometers delay is going to be zero here for the very first policy because this is the this is the priority group I'm going to set up first. I'm going to say with zero jobs and team A and create that. Uh, so what that means is as soon as a job is created that is using this demo dispatcher policy um, Spatula is going to look for any driver in team A that's closer than two kilometers away that has no jobs yet and it's going to do that instantly because there's no delay on it. Now we're going to add another policy. I'm going to say anyone within five kilometers um, can get this job say if none of the first group has accepted the job within 30 seconds then anyone with no jobs who's a bit further away can grab that one and I'm going to say any of the teams. So we'll create that too. So what will happen now is firstly um, as soon as a job's created, everyone in Team A that doesn't have any jobs yet, that's within two kilometers of the new job that's coming in, will be offered the job. And 30 seconds later, if nobody who meets this criteria has accepted the job, the job's then going to be offered to all my drivers who are within five kilometers who don't have any jobs yet. Okay, let's add another one. Now we might say everyone within five kilometers. Let's give it a, uh, a two minute wait, 120 seconds, um, who's got less than one job. And we'll say all teams again. So as you can see, we can start building up a set of policies and they can have certain delays on them. You can have as many of these as you like and they can have different delays anywhere from a second to as long as you really want to wait, although that probably doesn't make sense in a lot of cases. And then we can set up as many of these dis dispatches as you want. So we're going to save this one. And now we've got a dispatcher that's got three policies associated with it. And you'll now have this dispatcher as an option to put on um, particular restaurants that you're putting on or other vendors. Um, and you can set through through the API or through Zappy or however you're creating your jobs. You can actually do this on a job by job basis to pick different dispatchers. So we can actually pick an, another, another dispatcher and have totally different parameters totally different things that we're trying to set up. Team C drivers get to top priority up to 10 jobs. So it can be really a flexible way of creating this autonomous dispatch policies and that means you'll have a lot of control over how you're going to set up your autopilot for the team. This is really a powerful feature. I'm really excited to be bringing it to you. Um, if you've got any more questions on it, please feel free to ask and I'll, I'll make a follow-up video. Um, but in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up a restaurant or a vendor and apply that dispatch policy and show you how that part works.